when we first added text in Lightburn, the feedback that we got predominantly from people that was that they wanted to be able to attach text to a path. And that was how it was worded. People always said, I want to be able to attach my text to an object so that I can make the path follow that object. Now, this is incredibly flexible. Uh, it allows you to do things like this. Um, so you can bend text in strange ways. The feedback that we've gotten since is that most people don't want to bend their text on an arbitrary path, but instead want to just wrap their text around a circle. And uh, quite a few people found the attaching text to a path and node editing the path or attaching it to a circle uh, to be cumbersome. Uh, so as an example, if I create a circle, um, let me make it not filled uh, so that you can see it. Um, so if I take this text and that circle and I say apply the path to text, now the circle starts here and the text is centered so the text wraps this way and you would have to rotate the circle and so on. So there's there's a number of reasons why it is not as intuitive as it could be. Um, and as I said, the predominant thing that people want to do is wrap their text around a circle. So we've made a little tweak. And if you zoom in here, you can see this little blue dot. Blue means bend. If I grab the bend handle and move it, text will now just bend. Um, you can move this handle out here, you can move it in here, you can basically put it wherever you like. Um, this handle will only be shown on text objects. Um, the text objects are not actually attached to a path. This is now a native feature within Lightburn. Um, so if I tell the text to align to the bottom, you can now see that the bend handle is on the bottom of the text. If I align the text to the top, the bend handle is at the top, and in fact it's actually at the bottom of the next line, which is slightly awkward, but um, that's just how text works, unfortunately. The nice thing about the bend handle and bending text in general is that it is much more generic and simpler to use than the uh, previous text. So I haven't got the cursor finished yet, I'm still working on this, but to give you an idea, um, you can do multiple lines. Um, and this doesn't have any uh, weird behaviors if you put the, these in a group or if you manipulate them in other ways. Um, the text will stretch um, as multiple lines are added. So you'll actually see this text on the outside is starting to get wider and that's just because you are putting this text in a circle and you're squishing it or stretching it. Um, there's not really going to be a way around that. Um, however, for the generic case where somebody has a shape like this that they want to have their text sort of wrapped around, it's pretty easy to line this up now. You can basically just eyeball it. Um, we don't have a way of entering this exactly, but I suspect that that's not going to be a very big problem. Um, <clears throat> if you do want to use the old uh, apply text to path functionality, you can still certainly do that. There's uh, nothing preventing that from being used. Um, however, uh, the new version is uh, much more intuitive and it's simpler to use. Um, I can do this. I can also uh, flip the text horizontally or vertically. Um, that you couldn't do with text attached to a path because the path dictates whether the text is flipped or not. Um, so as I said, there's a number of reasons why this is a little bit more generic and simpler. Um, so hopefully people like it. Uh, we'll be rolling this out with the next release, I expect.